I recently got Photoshop and After Effects, and that meant I had to revamp my overlays. So in this video, we're going to be teaching you guys how to make specifically an intermission screen for your Twitch overlay. And this can be made on Photoshop or any other softwares. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So the intermission screen I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make is going to look something like this. Here we are on my Streamlabs OBS. So this is my intermission screen. As you guys can see, it's animated and it looks pretty sick. So right over here is where my webcam would be. And right over here is where my screen is. So yeah, you guys are going to be learning how to do this. If you guys have After Effects or want to make it animated, then I'll also be teaching you guys how to make this animated logo right here and this animated moving, whatever you call it, line under the intermission. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So when you're in Photoshop, you want to do File, New, and make it 1920 by 1080 as your thing if you're streaming software if you stream at a different canvas then make it that like some people stream at 720 but i stream at 1920 by 1080 and if you don't know this is probably what you're gonna have so press create now you have this screen so basically what you want to do is you want to find a background so the way you're going to do that is this you want to go on google and search up let's say i'm going to make mine a uh, black and white one so let's search black back ground so now we have this you can choose any you can choose any background you want okay so now that we've had this you want to drag it and drop it into your computer come back to photoshop and drag that background and just paste it right over here now that it's here you want to resize it even if you have to crop a bit of the image now this image isn't a very high quality image because I just chose it randomly, but try get a pretty high quality image so this looks really good on stream. So now you wanna touch this tool right here. You wanna make sure this is on the rectangle tool. So you wanna grab it, start on the bottom right, left right here and just go like this. You want to make a rectangle, doesn't matter the exact size, but about this size right here. You want to make the fill white. So this is perfect so far. Now you want to press this and now you want to make another smaller rectangle right up here exactly like this. This is what's going to have your display on it. Now the last rectangle is going to be your chat box, which is going to be right here. So now that you have all of those, you want to do something to your chat box to make it look way better. You want to select your chat box, then you want to go here to rectangle 3. You want to double click it, and now that you're here, you want to make the opacity halfway. Now this is perfect. Now you want to press on it again and then change the fill to about this color of gray. Now you're going to have this half half opacity over here. So that it looks a bit better and your chat is going to show so as the background. So this is perfect at this point. Now what we have to add is the intermission writing up top and the chat to the side. Let's get straight into it. So you want to select this text and you want to hold it and put it right over here. You want to type intermission and don't worry if it goes off this location for now. You can just press this select tool, press it, and then you can press this and just move this to about right here. Now this color doesn't blend in very well. So what you're going to do is you're going to press right here at your character and you can change the font. The font that I like to use is this right here, Akira Expanded. It looks really well, especially in Twitch overlays. Now we wanna make the color over here a white and we wanna select OK. So now this is looking really good so far. The next thing we wanna do is put the chat right here. So we wanna make a text box and write chat. Now this is pretty big, so you want to make this to a smaller font until it becomes the exact sizing. So now you have that right there. 
And now you have almost everything done. Now we're just gonna add some small things that are gonna make it look a lot better. Again, you wanna grab a text box, you wanna do this, and you wanna put these greater than or equal to signs, uh, greater than signs, I mean. I'm taking this in math. <laughs> okay, so you wanna put this right over here, and that's all. And then you wanna make another one, do the exact same thing, it doesn't show right now, but you wanna select it, and then you wanna select it like this, you wanna press image, I mean edit, and then transform, rotate and then you want to rotate this to about a 90 degree angle right about there so once you have done that you want to just bring this down with the movement tool and you want to put it around here another choice is you can bring this right here you can bring it from here to down over here and that also looks really good so now that we're done with this, you want to just export it and then we're going to get to the animations. When you're exporting this, you want to just press file, export, and you want to say export as, and then export it as a JPEG. So you want to put it into any file you have, just name it intermission, and then you're all set. Now let's go into After Effects. This section of the video is just if you want to animate your intermission screen. But if you don't want to animate your intermission screen, just go to this time of the video to learn how to put it in your Streamlabs OBS. First, you want to add a layer. You want to have it new and you want to have it solid. First, you want to add a layer and you want to have it as a solid. Now, you just want to make this gray and then you can call it back what is my spelling you can just call it whatever you want okay now you have it down here and this is perfect now you just need to make another layer new and text now here you can write whatever you want i'm gonna write my name right here so now you can just hold this tool grab this and center it to about the middle doesn't matter exactly where just center it to about the middle now once you've plugged in the after the saber thing you can go to the background that we set at the beginning and press saber and this is gonna come up right here so right here there's gonna be multiple things there's gonna be here your preset you don't play with anything this is just to change the way the saber looks i normally like to use neon and then i reduce the glow intensity to about this much so now you want to go to customize core you want to click right here and the core type should be text layer now you want to choose this text layer that you did and as you guys see this is going to happen so at this point you just want to remove this off your text layer so that all you can see is this i'm going to lower the glow to about 18 percent and now this is perfect now to make it animated this is what you have to do so now to animate it here we have to make the offset right here we have to click this clock and we have to make it 100%. And then you go to the five second mark right here and you're gonna make this offset 0%. So basically right here, you have this animation. So if this animation is pretty like laggy for you, you can just press here and press quarter, but after you render it and everything, it's gonna be all good. So now you've gotten to here. Now, basically, this animation is done, so you want, what you want to do is press File, and then Export, and add it to your render queue. And after that, you just want to click Render, and then it's basically in your folders. So now, let's make that moving line that was under the intermission screen. Let's get straight into it. So right here, this is what you have to do for the line. Basically, you just want to go online and just search Black Line, and then get this. You want to import it to in here, just drag it and drop it. Now you have the line, you're going to drag it to over here. You're going to add four points. When you start over here, you're just going to go to position and click this right here. Then you're going to move five seconds. Right here, the X axis over here is about to be 900. And then when you're over here, it's... 2000 as you guys can see on my screen but you're gonna have to change it on yours so you're gonna 
press this right here, and then you're going to make it 2,000. And then you're going to come back here, press this again, and then you're going to make it 900. And then once you're at the last one, you're going to make it 2,000 again. So you're going to get this animation like this. So you go through the rendering process we talked about before, and then you're basically ready to put everything into Streamlabs OBS. So you're here at your Streamlabs OBS. What you want to do is you want to make a new scene. You want to call it intermission. Once you've done this, you want to just open it and you want to add an image. So this image is going to be the first thing we did. You want to say add new source and then browse. And then you want to find the exact file of the overlay that we have done. So I have many, so I'm just going to choose any, but you're going to choose that Actually, I chose the correct one. So here we have this, and now we want to add that animated line that's going back and forth. So now we just add a file, and we want to make it a media source. And then once you've done this, you want to say add a new source again, and you want to browse for it. And then you want to keep looking for that exact file. So here it is right here. You want to just open it and add it. And this is covering the whole thing for now. What you want to do is you want to right click on this, and then you want to say filters and then you want to add a filter and you want to choose color key and then press done and then you want to press custom color press this eyedropper right here and then press right there and now this line is set exactly like that and so all you need to do basically is just put it there and wait for the first animation to start You want to press loop to make sure that it's always looping. And you just want to make sure it's at the exact location. So there we go. This is how you do this part. Now you want to add that text that you made that was animated. So you want to press on media source again. And you want to say add a new source. Browse. And you want to go and find the source. So here it is right here. You want to make sure it's again on loop. And you want to right click on it press filters and then again add a filter color key done and then custom color and then just press on this and then you want to change the smoothness to the maximum so that now it's gonna look like this you want to resize it perfectly and just put it right in the middle over here so basically you're all set with your overlay right now you just want to add your face cam over there and your display capture right here and a chat box right here thank you guys for watching this video i really appreciate it if you guys like and subscribe and i'd really appreciate it if you guys check out my twitch if you guys like more content like thank you guys for watching this video i'd really appreciate it thank you guys for watching Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, I'd really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. And make sure to check out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash 323 I stream there every single day from 7.30 EET to 9.30 EET. And if you guys have any extra questions, you can ask them over there. A new video on how to make custom transitions is coming out this week. So stay tuned and bye-bye. I've been holding on